the developing story about Susan Kihika wrangles with Nakuru County leaders. I want to remind Susan Kihika, who was voted by the people. And let me tell you as an advice, I know you. Imamu ya kufikiria kufanya makosa yote ya kuiba mashamba yote, tafika mwisho. And I will talk this and say, it is very sad to be fika sasa kuchukua mashamba institution. Now I'm saying very well. I don't think there is somebody who vote for UDA hapa. Na watu wakuja hapa kutuma mambo ya UDA watachomwa. If that is the behavior UDA is doing, the UDA ni Susan, na buwana yake. They are the owners of the party. She is being accused of mismanaging the county government of Nakuru. They accused of grabbing land, mismanagement of Memorial Hospital, nepotism, and many other accusations. The latest leader to accuse is Kamani Ngujiri, who said if she continue like that, UDA party will lose its basis in Nakuru. The story has taken a new twist, with Senator Tabitha Karanja calling for the impeachment of Governor Susan Kihika. She noted that the raid by the county government, which left tens of patients unattended, were enough reasons to impeach the governor. The land lease by the hospital is genuine, as some people want to take over this prime land, and it's time. MCAs acted as there are enough grounds for impeachment, she said. The county government is said to have taken over the management of the hospital on Saturday, soon after hospital directors were arrested on Friday. Lawyers representing the Nakuru County government, however, denied accusations of forcefully taking over the hospital and ejecting patients. Addressing the press in Naivasha, Senator Karanja said she was doing her oversight duty. She comforted families whose patients were affected and called on the Ministry of Health to intervene to avert loss of lives as a result of the dispute. We sincerely sympathise with the patients, next of kin, doctors, workers and investors. We pray that God gives them endurance and power to overcome. Flanked by area leaders, the senator retaliated that she has no interest in the governor's position and is only keen on playing her oversight role. I will continue to perform my oversight role with zeal and passion without fear or favour because I have the mandate of the great people of Nakaru County, she said. A section of leaders have faulted Nakuru County government for paralysing services at the, the multi-billion war memorial hospital. Petition the IG to order the Nakuru County Police, led by the County Police Commandant, to enforce the court order issued on 22nd January 2024 by the judge presiding over the Nakuru environment and lands court regarding the opening of the Nakuru War Memorial Hospital. Nakuru War Memorial Hospital offers services to a wide range of clients, including the poor through the former NHIF. It is currently owned millions by the default NHIF, but continues to offer the said services. Our governor is the one who should be in the forefront, ensuring the War Memorial Hospital is back to its feet but she's also known not to follow the rule of law and she has also disobeyed court orders. Governor is busy touring the county in the name of relaunching bursaries that she very well knows that these bursaries have been delayed by over seven months, yet the funds have been lying in the, in the county family bank's account. This is justice denied to our needed children. MCAs and children across the county are experiencing further delays in accessing, as she has indicated, to personally launch at the county headquarters and also launch down to the 55 wards for the next few months. What is the role of the MCAs, sub-county, and ward administrators? With nothing else to show for launching or groundbreaking, this is embarrassing as she is required to attend other important urgent duties that have failed, like the war memorial case. She is just assuming that nothing is happening, or a business that has employed a lot of people is closed down and the investor continues to incur losses. She has never done a business, so she does not understand the pain of losing one. On the War Memorial Hospital, similar facilities left by the colonials, including the Nairobi 
and Mombasa hospitals are continuing to be well for several years without interference of the local governments. With the Nakuru case, the PGH Annex Hospital, which was a part of the war memorial, was already hived out as a settlement with the government. I urge my colleagues in the County Assembly of Nakuru to interrogate these issues as per their role to urgently address the concerns of the citizens. They also need to act where required. Nakuru's top rating in health a few years ago is now a thing of the past, as our patients now travel to less endowed counties to seek treatment. What a shame, abandoned hospital development. Across the county, our ISHU. The quest of our county becoming a medical tourist hub is now a paved dream, given that the leadership responsible for making this is a reality, making this a reality is very is a very one killing the hopes. It is very sad that some of my fellow women parliamentarians are suggesting that being elected as a woman gives you a green light or power to disobey a court order. In fact, women leaders should be very worried when one of their own is setting a bad example of disobeying court orders. In fact, women should be in the forefront in setting a high integrity bar in leadership to earn confidence from Kenyans in order to increase the number elected women across board. The leaders who included lawyers, business people and politicians accused the county government of greed, disobeying court orders and meddling with the services at the best rated hospital that serves the populous county. Former Nakuru Governor Lee Kinyanjui said his successor, Susan Kihika, had ignored several court orders issued by the Environment and Lands Court in Nakuru and subjected innocent patients and their relatives to suffering. Speaking during the burial of Kimani, a local Matatu Sako leader who died after he was taking off a life-saving machine during the forceful takeover of the hospital, Kinyanjui claimed that public hospitals were offering compromised service. He said the best option for Nakuru people was private hospitals, with the Nakuru War Memorial being among the best rated privately ran facilities in the city. Rift Valley Provincial General Hospital is not operating properly, same as so many other public facilities in the county. The only other option that the people had was Medihil Hospital, which has also been closed, he said. Another female patient who also died during the takeover of the Memorial Hospital was Wednesday, also being buried at her rural home in central Kenya. Kinyanjui, who was accompanied by MPs Paul, Rongai, Alfred Mutai, Kurosoi North, and former Bahati MP Kimani Ngunjiri said it was wrong for the county to raid the hospital, kick out the medics, and forcefully transfer patients, even those who were on life-saving machines in ICU and renal units. The way things are going in Nakuru County is unbelievable. I want to remind Susan Keka, who was voted by the people, and let me tell you as an advice, I know you. Imamu ya kufikiria kufanya makosa yote ya kuiba mashamba yote. Mashamba yote, itafika mwisho. And I will talk this and say, it is very sad to mefika sasa kuchukua mashamba institutions. Where the president is saying, we protect institutions ya serikali kufunga na kuweka askari that wagonjwa waezi kuingia kwa hospitali. Now, I'm urging my president, if you don't intervene on this, where is she getting this power? That is the question. He nguvu inatoka wapi? And I want to urge, sisi tutakuja kuomba kura hapa tuseme tunaomba kura za UDA. Tutaomba kura hapa. If that is the behavior, we are doing people who voted for us. The Mina Ulisa Minister for Health. Niliona huko Bukoma akikimbia ati mtu mmoja alitaka kupiga nasi. Where are you? Are you not feeling ashamed as a minister 
of health manasis wakifukuzwa hapa na kupigwa wagonjwa wakitolewa kwa hospitali where are you minister double standard even in times of war hospitals are never attacked and it is difficult to comprehend what the nakuru leadership wants said the former governor who appealed to President William Ruto to intervene and ensure normalcy is restored at the hospital. A signpost showing Nakuru War Memorial Hospital, which has since been defaced by unknown people. A signpost showing Nakuru War Memorial Hospital, which has since been defaced by unknown people. Kinyanjui urged the Law Society of Kenya, LSK, to take action against Nakuru County government for consistently ignoring court orders. His sentiments were echoed by Ngunjiri, who petitioned President Ruto to intervene in the matter, because the people who were suffering the most are Kenyans, seeking services at the facility, which stands on a 25-acre piece of prime land. Once a lease expires, the leaseholder is supposed to seek renewal from the National Land Commission, NLC, and the directors of War Memorial Hospital followed the procedure besides the pending court orders which have to be obeyed, he said. Ngunjiri noted that the country was headed in the wrong direction of lawlessness if leaders and government entities adamantly refused to comply with court orders. He said it was unfortunate that more than 350 staff members at the facility had their employment on the line because the county government just wanted to forcefully take over its management. <laughs> We have not had you coming to talk about Nakuru. What we are Nakuru, Hatuta Durumiwa. We are urging the president, please intervene. Please intervene on this issue. It will bring problem. Now I'm saying very well. I don't think there is somebody who vote for UDA Hapa. Now what we could have to say about UDA Watachomwa. If that is the behavior UDA is doing, see UDA and the Susan, Nabuanaake, they are the owners of the party. They are the people who are doing this in Kenyans. Then Mududu Museme Sasa, to do a in Guinea, ya kufikiria. Unless you don't have common sense to think, na wonder we are in problem, na kuko shida. Na Urisa, muko na wajumbe kumina moja, where are they? Where are these MPs mula chagua? You people also, you vote people, knowing they will not help you. Where are these MPs? Where? When I was there, I used to whip them, tunakuja pamoja, tunatua statement. Wamboe kwa baridi wate, Musikoje wata wasaidia. When I was there, I used to whip them. Tunakuja pamoja, tunatua statement. Wamwe kwa baridi wate, musikoje wata wasaidia. Nothing. Nizikia tabitha atisama at impeachment. Impeachment tabitha, are you dreaming? Nani atapia fanyo inini? Nani atakua impeached? Susan, that is not the way tabitha ya kufikiria. Memori unaingiria, he must be tali ingine hiko dawa. Hakuna dawa, no service, what a shame. What a shit. He said it was unfortunate that more than 350 staff members at the facility had their employment on the line because the county government just wanted to forcefully take over its management. Other leaders who opposed the move by county government include Nakuru Senator Tabitha Karanja and business leaders from different sectors. Trouble started on October last year when the county government invaded the facility on claims that the management had illegally acquired a 50-year lease extension. However, the county takeover of the hospital was upset two days later when the Environment and Land Court issued orders directing it to vacate the facility and stop meddling in its management. The latest saga started on January this year when five people who included two senior directors of the hospital were arrested on claims of forging a lease document for the land on which the facility stands. The following day, the county government of Nakuru, led by County Secretary Samuel Muara, raided the hospital, took over the management, and kicked out hospital staff. Tumekuja hapa leo kwa heshima ya mazingira. Mzee wa heshima alikuwa mwalimu, amefunza maelfu ya watu hapa. Baadaye alienda kwa biashara na pia kafuzu sana. Na mzee pia hata wa kanisa. Na kwa hivyo tulikuja hapa kumpatia hiyo heshima. Lakini pia tuwezi sahau, kifo chake kimeletwa na uongozi duni. Correct? Ati hospitali ambayo iko na madaktari, 
na wagonjwa they are being attacked even when having dialysis even in times of war hospitals are never attacked ati ya doctors wanajificha ili waende wakaangalie mgonjwa watoto wetu ako huko mama anajifungua anajifungua kama anajificha daktari amekatauza kuja even to the president if nakuru is part of kenya you must also intervene kabisa mm. yes. tunaelewa yes. haiezi kuwa kwamba na sasa pgh is not operating well yes. Hii hospitali yetu ya Memorial sasa imefungwa. Kuna hospitali nyingine pia kubwa inaitwa Medhill pia imefunga. Sasa mi nauliza hivi. Hata hao ambao wanajifanya hapa akipata ugonjwa leo tutampeleka wapi? Na ugonjwa ni binadamu yeyote. So we have no hospital. And I think this is not a political matter na ndio naona tumeshirikiana na viongozi kutoka chama yote, vio mawakili na pia niulize. Law Society of Kenya ambaye inawakilisha mawakili wote na pia mawakili wameenda mpaka kotini na mahakama ikasema wacha hospitali iendelee mbele kama kuna mzozo tutatatua kule mbele how do you subject innocent people innocent people because mnataka kuiba shamba kidogo kidogo hapo so at a rais we are also saying this if the, if the people of nakuru matter to you you must also do something yes ikakuwa tumelia leo tumelia kesho tumelia siku ingine makanisa imelipwa watu wa media wakiripot wanapigiwa simu kutishwa efforts by the environment and lands court to have the county vacate the hospital have been futile as the area police boss are yet to implement the order Efforts by the Environment and Lands Court to have the county vacate the hospital have been futile as the area police boss because even Nakuru County Commander Samuel Ndani who was supposed to implement the order refused to take the instructions. Police officers bar journalists from capturing the proceedings at Nakuru War Memorial Hospital. Police officers bar journalists from capturing the proceedings at Nakuru War Memorial Hospital. This compelled Justice Millicent summon Nakuru County Commander Samuel Ndani to appear before her, but he has failed to do so on three occasions. On Tuesday, Justice set the matter for mention on Thursday, February, when Ndani is once again required to appear in court. We have come to an end of this video. We remind you to please subscribe to our channel if you have not yet. Kindly like this video and leave a comment for us and other viewers. Thank you so much for watching our video up to the end. Let meet in our next video. Goodbye.